The Queen has been dragged into a financial scandal after it was revealed around £10 million of her money was held in an offshore haven, according to leaked financial documents known as the Paradise Papers. The Duchy of Lancaster estate has invested her funds in the Cayman Islands as well as in Bermuda, and some of her money went to Bright House, a rent-to-own company which sells appliances and furniture and offers lending agreements to customers. There is no suggestion the Queen is not paying tax, and experts have said the investments are legally sound. The Duchy has since explained it was not involved in decisions of the company, and there is no suggestion Her Majesty had any knowledge of the investments made on her behalf. We operate a number of investments and a few of these are with overseas funds. All of our investments are fully audited and legitimate, a spokesperson for the Duchy of Lancaster reportedly told the BBC. The Dover Street investment was bought in 2005 and forms only 0.3% of the total value of the Duchy. The Duchy's investment in Bright House is through a third party and equates to £3,208, just 0.006% of the Duchy's value. The Queen voluntarily pays tax on any income she receives from the Duchy. The Chief Finance Officer of the £500 million estate, Chris Adcock, also added, Our investment strategy is based on advice and recommendation from our investment consultants and appropriate asset allocation. The Duchy has only invested in highly regarded private equity funds following a strong recommendation from our investment consultants. The news comes after it was revealed the Queen would be stepping down from her royal duty at the Remembrance Sunday commemorations later this month. Her Majesty will instead watch the ceremony from the balcony on Sunday, November 12th as son Prince Charles lays her wreath. It will be the first time the 91-year-old has not taken part in the traditions, but she has not laid wreaths in six previous ceremonies. Buckingham Palace has not given any reason for the change-up simply explaining she wants to be beside husband Prince Philip on the day. A statement released from officials explained the Queen wishes to be alongside the Duke of Edinburgh and he will be in the balcony.